And now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about Jesus calling and sending out his disciples. And so someone might ask the question, Is every Christian called to be a disciple of Jesus? When we consider what Jesus says it will cost to be his disciple, some Christians might be afraid that they are not up to the challenge. Certainly none of us has what it takes to be a faithful follower of Jesus, but we know that through his grace and strength we can accomplish whatever he asks from us. There is no beginner's and advanced course in Christianity. Jesus will never settle for anything less than complete devotion to him and his will. If you cannot give him that, then he says you are not worthy to be his disciple. Now that is not to say that Jesus will call all of his followers to be martyrs, but every child of God should be so devoted to Christ as their Lord, so that if necessary they would even be willing to lay down their life to show their allegiance to Jesus Christ as Sovereign Lord. To be a disciple is to bear one's own cross. That means to be willing to die to my own life my own ambitions, and to give my life into the service of my Master Jesus. So many of the Christians who are called to be disciples of Jesus show that they are more interested in being master of their own life and destiny than in trusting the Lord for the future and giving themselves entirely to follow Jesus. Only one who learns to lose his life for Christ will find it, but he who seeks to keep his life will lose it. A missionary once said these words, He is no fool who gives up what he cannot keep to gain that which he cannot lose. What he meant by this was that the secret of success as a disciple of Jesus is to be willing to give up the life which we cannot keep for ourselves anyway and so gain a life of following Christ and receiving eternal life which we cannot afford to lose. While we might feel the calling is too high for us, we have to take time to think what the gains and losses will be for the choices we make. Be very careful not to compromise and think you can live for yourself, for your career, and gain in this world, and also live faithfully for Jesus Christ. You must be willing to give up the one in order to gain the other. You just cannot have both. While we think about what it means to be a disciple of Jesus, I would like to read to you a prayer, which has meant much to me, and perhaps it will be of value to you as well. It is called the Disciples' Prayer. Lord, help me to be your disciple, and always do your will, to put your desires before my own, your work to faithfully fulfill. Help me set a good example for those who look to me to see in my daily living what a Christian's life should be. Those who are new in the faith help me guide and teach, and those who are outside your fold somehow help me reach. Lord, I want to be your servant, and in everything I do, when others might look at me, I pray that they see you.